I'm Mani Kaluja, Senior Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Specialist Solution Architect at AWS. And today, I'm going to talk about new capabilities of Amazon SageMaker experiments. Machine learning is an iterative process by nature, which involves multitude of algorithms, parameters, and data set, each yielding a different trained model, which needs to be evaluated against a predefined objective. For each permutation of these variables, data scientists need an easy way to keep track of the work that they have done and its results. And in this video, we will cover how you can track all of this using SageMaker experiments. SageMaker experiments lets you organize, track, and compare large number of machine learning experiments to find the best performing model. And with the new capabilities of Amazon SageMaker experiment, it has now become a part of SageMaker SDK, which means that you no longer have to install any additional packages to maintain the model executions. And each of these execution within an experiment is called a run, with which you can record all your model artifacts, such as parameters, algorithm, data set information, and model metrics. Data scientist, whether they are working on Amazon SageMaker Studio Notebook or their favorite IDE, can now use experiments for the use case that they are solving. And once, and once experiments are created, they can visually compare the different experiments and uh, to find the best performing model. It also helps data scientists to make sure that the models are reliable and reproducible. With this, let's take a look into a notebook where we will train a convolutional neural network in PyTorch using MNS dataset locally in a notebook. In this notebook, we first download the dataset and then we'll create an experiment and a run. With this run, you can log the parameters. You can choose to log a single parameter with log underscore parameter and provide key value pair, or you can log multiple parameters like we are logging uh, with log underscore parameters function. You can also log the data files using log underscore file function. It will upload the file to an S3 bucket and associate the S3 path with the uh, run. Now let's see how does it look like in the experiments UI. You will see that with experiments, we have this one run because we have only created one run and there are no metrics because we have only logged the parameters, which are number of train and test samples and the input artifacts, which are our data files. And it has uploaded the data files to S3. And now you can see the S3 path in the input artifacts function. Now let's add model training parameters to the same run. In this case, we are creating a simple convolutional neural network and we can log metrics using log underscore metric function. In this case, we are logging both training and test loss and accuracy. You can also log additional uh, model training parameters. And additionally, you can also log a confusion matrix using log underscore confusion underscore matrix function. And this confusion matrix is uploaded to S3. Let's load the same run that we created above using load underscore run function. This will pass the same run context to the train model function that we created above. Now let's see in the UI whether it has associated our model uh, metrics and parameters to our existing run. So we'll go back to the experiments. Now you can see that we have additional metrics, which is test loss, uh, training loss, test accuracy, and train accuracy. We can also see the additional parameters that we logged while training our model. And in the chart section, you'll be able to see the confusion matrix that we logged while we were running the model training function. If you want to add additional charts, you can go to add chart and add additional charts like histogram, line, scatter plot, or bar chart based on your use case. Now, SageMaker experiments is more useful when we have to compare and analyze multiple experiments. So now we will optimize the same model for number of hidden channels and different optimizers. And we'll create a new experiment. In this experiment, whenever this uh, function is executed, it will add a new run to this same experiment because the experiment name is the same. 
and then we'll be able to compare multiple runs together. So we can go to experiments and now we can see we have multiple experiments. We can also filter on the number of columns and choose and deselect the ones that we don't need. So we can do that and then we can select the runs that we want to analyze and then click on analyze button and then we can add a chart. Let's add a line chart to compare the different runs that we have. Now we will select the step. In our case, we have select we are logging the metrics at an epoch level, but you can log at any interval that you would like to uh, log and then create. Now you can see that out of the different runs, the run two is performing the best because it has the lowest loss. You can also add additional charts like histogram to compare different runs. or in this case, let's log training accuracy. So now we can have a good view of how our different runs looks like and we can analyze it visually to find the best performing model. Similarly, if you are using SageMaker training jobs or processing jobs or batch transform jobs, you can use SageMaker experiments to track, record and compare different runs. For deeper dive into SageMaker training jobs, please view the part two of the video. For accessing the code, you can visit the SageMaker Examples GitHub repository. And I will encourage you all to play with SageMaker experiments to make your experiment tracking simpler. Thank you.